Some of the videos that we took at Ifrimer show waves that are equivalent to 13 meter high waves in the sea, which is a very, very uh, severe storm. And our videos show the wind turbine operating perfectly well with these waves washing over the platform and the platform being very stable. Uh, last time I spoke to you, uh, we were coming back from Cranfield and we had just uh, completed some testing with a, what I call mini tetrafloat. It was this little one meter scale uh, representation. And the next thing to do after that was to get something rather bigger and put it in a rather bigger wave tank. And uh, we got around to doing that at Ifremer, which is in Brest in Brittany and France. So this is the team that I brought with me uh, to Ifremer in France. That's most of the team. The team also included my wife. Uh, and uh, these guys uh, were very good at, to give up some of their research time. They're all working on energy related projects with me to come over and help me to conduct this set of tests at Ifremer. We built a three meter axis height version of Tetrafloat. We put it in the water. We tried out a new idea, which is a new way to put the heave plates on the bottom of that platform. And that new idea worked fantastically well. And we were able to run various conditions of waves and wind on this uh, platform and demonstrate that with a working wind turbine that this is a very stable platform indeed. Where other platforms really try to be strong enough to react the forces that the waves are putting on them, uh, Tetrafloat's policy is different. It doesn't want to see those forces at all, so it just lets the waves pass by, hardly resisting them at all, but just stopping itself from moving up and down very responsibly. So one of the high points of the testing was that we got some divers in uh, to film what Tetrafloat was doing from underneath and it was really very exciting. Um, you may see from some of the video shots that we could actually see through windows in the side of the tank. We could see from underneath anyway, but the divers were able to get right down underneath the object and they were able to sort of experience firsthand what we call the descended heave plates. So we were hanging heave plates down below the, the structure and really get some great footage of this thing behaving and responding to the waves from underneath. Uh, some lovely shots, split surface where you see half of the structure under the water and then a picture of the team above. Very nice. The thing to bear in mind with these things is that the mass of the structure goes up with the cube. So if I change from a one meter structure to a 100 meter structure, that's not a hundred times heavier, that's a million times heavier. Uh, and we're talking about the full-scale structure being several thousand tons. The object that we had at Ifremer was slightly light for the scale, but it was about right. And that was about, uh, from memory, about 150 kilograms in total. There were adjustments to, to make the platform suitable to the test facility. The platform on its own was fine. Yeah. There was no difficulty with the platform, but just to make it suited to the test facility. One of the other adjustments, for example, was making extensions to the cables we brought with us. We had data acquisition on the platform itself, measuring accelerations and velocities and the angular positions. And we had to bring that uh, data quite a long distance, longer than we had originally anticipated. So these are things that uh, you, you would expect to have to do. Two days of preparation, one day to take it all down again and put it back in the van. Did it fit in the van? It fitted in the van with a little bit of persuasion and not much comfort. <laughs> Our next stage is to go to sea and uh, we're intending to make a platform that's closer to full scale. Now, obviously, full scale is a platform that would be something like 110, 120 meters axis height. That's a very, very big structure, and we can't build one of those. But we are going to build something that's maybe a fifth, a sixth, that kind of order of magnitude. Uh, if my coworkers here have their way, it'll be more like a tenth, but uh, I'm pushing on the big side. And we want to put a real wind turbine on this and take it out into a real sea and demonstrate to all the people who doubted up to now that this could be a stable platform uh, that it really is.